Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn six different type of password protection in Microsoft Excel. You will learn how to put a password in a file to open it. And I will explain you how to put a password to modify a file. You will also learn the workbook production, worksheet production, worksheet production on the desired range. As well as you will learn how to put the password in your BBA project. So let's start without delay. Let's say friends we have this excel file which is blank excel file as of now but in your excel file if you want to put a password so that if somebody will try to open that file it should ask a password. So how we can do that? First let's save as this file so you can go to the file and save as or you can press F12. File name I'm putting here test file one. Now to put the password we need to go to the tools here. You can see we have a drop down for tools. Just click here and in the tools we have a drop down item which is general options. Just click here. Now in the general options we have two type of password. First we can put here password to open it and another one is password to modify it. If you will put the password to open it, let's say here I am putting 1, 2, 3, 4 and I am just using OK and it is asking to re-enter the password. Again put the same password 1, 2, 3, 4. Click on OK. You can keep your password whatever you want to keep. Let's click on save. Now here in this folder we can see this test file 1 is available. I will click on test file 1. As I click, it will ask to put the password because we have put the password to open this file. So let's put here 1, 2, 3, 4 and just click on OK. Now this file will be open. You can use this type of protection when you want to protect your file with the password protection so that nobody can open your file or the person who has the password can only open the file. You can put this protection. Another protection which is the modify file, you can put that type of protection wherein you want to show the data but you don't want to allow user to modify that data. So user will get that file as read only, they cannot write anything in that file. To put that password, again I have a book one, this is new workbook, let's press F12 and we have saved one file with the name of test file one, let's save it as test file two. And go to the tools general options and this time we will not put the password to password to open we will put the password here in the password to modify let's put one two three four click on ok again put one two three four click on ok and click on save now this file is saved so when you open this file then it will ask the password to modify this file let me show you just close this file. Let's open test file 2 this time and now it is asking this file is reserved by the user and it is asking to put the password or you can click on read only. Still this file will be opened but this file is read only here you can see. To open this file properly so that you can save this file you need to provide the password. Okay. This was the second type of password. Now you can put the password within the excel file. Let me show you. The first thing you can put the workbook label password or workbook label protection. When I say the workbook label protection, you can lock the structure of your workbook. User cannot add the new worksheet. User cannot hide or unhide the worksheet. User cannot delete the worksheet. So basically you will lock the workbook structure so that nobody can rename, delete, hide your Excel worksheets. So to do that, you can go to the review. And here we have the protect workbook option. We click on protect workbook. Now here you can put the password. Let's say here I am putting 1, 2, 3, 4. Click on OK. Re-enter the password 1, 2, 3, 4. Click on OK. Now you cannot rename this. If I will right click you can see these options are disabled. Okay. But if I will unprotect this to unprotect the workbook again you can click there and you can put the password and if I will right click you can see the rename and the hide options are visible now. So you can hide and you can protect 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 
and if you will try to unhide those worksheets now you cannot do that because we have locked the structure of the workbook first you need to unprotect your workbook just put the password then only you can unhide the hidden sheets all right so this is the use of workbook protection now i'll show you the use of worksheet protection also you can protect your worksheet so first thing you can protect your entire worksheet let's say here i have this inventory worksheet wherein i have some formulas and some information if you want nobody should change this information so you can protect this worksheet you can go to the protect worksheet just click here and here we have some option to protect worksheet you can select those options but i'm keeping it as it is select lock cell and select unlock cell Let's put the password one two three four. Okay, re-enter one two three four. Now this sheet is protected. If I will try to type something here, it will give this message. Okay, so first you need to unprotect the sheet. Just click here, put the password, then you can enter anything. Now if you want to protect only selected range, let me show you. Here we have the formulas in these cells we have formulas here also but in these four column we want to allow user to enter the information first we can select entire worksheet press ctrl a twice and then go to the format cells right click go to the format cells and then go to the protection here in protection we have lock cell just uncheck this now all the cells are unlocked we will select only those cells wherein we want to protect. So we have the formulas here. We don't want to allow to change the formula. So just select these four columns, right click, go to the format cells again and just lock this. If you want to hide the formula, then you can click on hidden also. Click on OK. Now you can put the worksheet protection. Go to the protect sheet and let's put the password here. One, two, three, four. Click on OK. One, two, three, four. Click on OK. Now. If I will click here, you can see in the formula bar, we are not able to see the formula. But if I will click here, I am able to see the value. And if I am trying to type something here, I am not able to do that. But if I am trying to type something here, I am able to do that. That means these four columns are protected. Rest other worksheet are unprotected. So you can enter the information here, but you can't enter the information here. Alright friend, that is how you can protect the desired range in excel if you are working on your bba project then you can lock your bba project so that nobody can see the code of your bba project so let me go to the developer tab and visual basic let's say here we have some coding in this file we have some forms also i want to protect these all information with the password so we have this file right click go to the bba project properties and then go to the protection and just check this lock project for viewing and we will put the password here let's say i'm putting one two three four and one two three four click on ok and let's close this let's save this file and then close this file now if i will open this file then I will go to the developer tab and visual basic. Now I want to see the VBA details. I will try to expand this. It will ask the password. So if you have the password, then you can enter the password. Click on OK. Now here you can see the modules. And here you can see your forms. Alright friends. So that is how you can use the password protection in your Excel workbook. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.